Y'all ready? Y'all ready to get into it? Yes, 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 yes. You you can really see me better, but you know, it is what it is. Y'all ready for me to get started? So the channel will come asking me redundant questions. Oh, and please tell Chuck No Joke that um we can talk. So I can add him up during this session once I get done, okay? Cool? Cool. Y'all ready? Cool. All right. So when we come back from lunch, it's a whole bunch of hoopla, bitch. Mm -hmm. It's a whole bunch of rah-rah shit going on. We waited up in that courtroom. We got we were supposed to come back from lunch at 1 30. We was up in that courtroom, bitch, from 1 45 to about 2 35, trying to figure out what in the hell is going on around this bitch. What in the fuck is going on? What have I heard? What were the whispers about? We can talk about that at a later time. Because I'm hearing a lot of different things. And I want to put some more context. You know what I'm saying? To those things. And I want it to make sense. Okay? But mm, we'll talk about it. But we had to sit wondering what was going on for like an hour. Right? So at about um, 2.35, the jury comes back. And um, there was a concern about run one of the jurors because someone went on social media, bitch, and said that the juror was in the elevator, you know, with, you know, the defense, maybe some members from the defense in terms of maybe Tori. Or, I don't know what the fucking story is because I was not on said elevator. So I don't know who was on this elevator, but what I have been told is nothing out of whack took place. No conversation was had. People got on the elevator and got off. To solve that problem, make sure that your jurors have a way to get home. Make sure they have an escort going to where they need to be. And that wouldn't be an issue. We're in a public place. You got a lot of people trying to get to where they're going. And, you know, that's just that. Okay? Um, EJ is here. Right? So, EJ has his wedding wavy, as I expected. And he had on, like, this hot pink, hot pink blazer. And, um, you know, just a little one, too. The pants and all that kind of shit like that. And so, he comes up in the courtroom. And let me say this before I get started. EJ has been the most solid witness so far. Oh, yeah, put my cash up, bitch. Hold on. So EJ um, was the most level-headed, to me, the most honest and upfront nigga that came through. The, I want to give a hand clap to EJ. Mm. Um, I appreciate what he did today. Uh, in terms of just coming and not wasting our time. I'm from Houston, Moniz. I like you, bitch. I've been like you since loving hip hop. Crazy ass. So, uh, but I know you ain't crazy, bitch. I identify with a bitch like you. That's why I like you. But anyway, um, yeah, EJ was, he did not waste our time. And I appreciate that so much. Thank you, EJ. Because so many people have come through and wasted taxpayer dollars. I mean, this whole case is a waste of taxpayer dollars. But thank you for coming through and doing what you did. So moving on, bitch. First witness is EJ, Eric Coberson. And so um, they said, have you made, this is the defense's witness, so they're questioning him. Have you made any statements about this case? He said, no. Has anyone reached out to you? We talking about from any side? No. And then I said, no, how you feel about being here? And he said, who wants to be here? The fuck? And so they said, were you subpoenaed to be here? And he said, yeah. And then they said, let's go back, you know, to the night in question. Do Yo, you tell him big actors in the building. And then how that, you know, who was there when y'all got there? He said, um, first of all, I went with Megan and Kelsey. And when we got there, Corey, Kylie, and some of her friends and her security were there. All right. They said in 2020, about um, how long had you been knowing Megan? He said, maybe about a year and some change. You know, I was a stylist and a friend. And then they said, okay, but on that night, you were also on this, like, as a driver. He was like, on that night, I did drive. And so they start asking Usually, when you have security, um, they're the ones who pretty much handle things, the security. He said, yeah. They said, when you don't have security, are y'all kind of out there on your own or, or what? And he said, yeah. You know, we protect ourselves. And so he said, well, really? how do you protect yourselves? What does that mean? He said, well, we have tasers and mace. And mm -hmm. we'll have them in our duffel bags and shit. Now, bitch, I don't know about you. Y'all from Houston. Her security wasn't there that night. So whenever y'all wouldn't have security, you're telling me that you would have items to protect yourself. So now I'm already thinking in my little motherfucking head, bitch, could a gun be in a duffel bag? It's possible. Moving along. So um, they asked him how did he protect himself? What did they mean? They said besides a taser or pepper spray, were there any other weapons? 
And then he said, oh, look, they go act. Come on, act. And I'm going to keep on talking. Slide on in here. So, um, besides the taser and the pepper spray, have you seen any other weapons? He said, no, not that I've seen. They said any handguns? EJ said, get into this, bitch. Salivating. EJ said, I've seen things that look like handguns. Anytime without security, have you seen guns? He said, I may have seen things in bags. Have you ever asked what the shit was in the bags? He said, no, because I mind my business. Mm -hmm. They said, uh, what kind of protection, you know, did you have? When if there wasn't security, how would you protect me? Yo, chat. <laughs> Yo, tell her I think she tried to add me and blocked me from the live. <laughs> it, I can't even see her live no more. It like kicked me out of the live. I'm not I'm not logged in on my, my, my account here though. So I'm watching here, but yeah. Uh I think she accidentally blocked me. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> it's a Kylie house and who was over there? They said, um he answers this question first. He said it was Kylie Corey and her security though. He said when we first got there, so now I'm finna talk to you without ask without asking questions that the defense asked. I'm finna talk to you like I'm EJ. Cause mm -hmm. it was easier for me to take notes that way to just say he said such and such, okay? All right. So EJ said, when we first got the Shali, uh, Kylie showed us to a room to put our bags. So I dropped the bags down and then we go downstairs. They said Kelsey was playing bill pong with Kylie's friends and I was at the bar. They said about 15 minutes later, Megan came out. They said Megan joined in a party and then, you know, was like, y'all having fun without me. And so she um got in the mix and then they got in the water. Now EJ say, I do not drink, but they drank a good amount. They went through a few motherfucking bottles. That's what he said. So Holy. they said before Tori got the how many you know what, what how many bottles? They what happened to Eck? Nah, I just tried to add him. Hold on. Bitch I don't know. Nah, kid you not. I think I can't even see her live. And then while we wait on him, I just sent you another request. Wait, but while I wait on you, let me continue on. So um, he said I was at the uh, at the bar. He said so. Fifteen minutes after that, Megan came out and Megan joined in the party and got in the water. He said I don't drink, but they drank a good amount. We went through a few bottles. They said before Tori got there, they went through probably six or seven bottles. And then EJ said I even remember saying, "Damn, that's a lot of bottles." He said Kelsey was in the pool with Megan at the time. He said I ended up seeing Kelsey floating on the opposite side. Now I got a motherfucking question. Well, I'll do respect, but take it how you want to. Do y'all do cocaine? How fucking drunk you got to be for EJ to see you pass the fuck out on the pool floaty on the other side of the motherfucking page? It says academics is unable to join. Yeah. Not sabotaging the live. Academics, can you please try again? Because I'm trying my best to add you. No, I can't even Hold see Hold on, it, girl. try again. You see how, how they do? Try. So, um, is cocaine involved or bitches just got that fucking wasted? That's crazy to me. Anyway, he say, I saw Kelsey floating on the opposite side of the pool. Okay. Knock the fuck out. Do you know you could have drowned? Do y'all know how Whitney uh, Houston died? Do you know how her daughter how, uh, died? Do not think that you cannot drown in a damn bathtub, let alone a swimming pool. Okay. Like, don't, don't think, don't think that that can't happen. So that's something. Every time I press, uh, Sad academics is not letting me. So academics, when I get done with this, if it still ain't let me, I'll just end the live and come back and add you again, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, keep for going, some keep reason, going. it's not working. Yeah, I turn, they keep did going. that yesterday with uh, Choke. But I'll, I'll add you up here. I don't, I don't know what the problem is. But let me just finish. I don't have yeah, to like cut Yeah, it let out. her go. So um, anyway, he saw Kelsey floating on the opposite side of the pool. Meg and Kylie were on another side of the pool. So he went over to to Kelsey and he said, "This say you unable to join, baby. I'll add you in a little bit. He told Kelsey, look, we need to go upstairs, mama, because, you know, you tripping, you out of there. And so he went over there and um, Megan and Kylie were still drinking in the pool. He said that, and he'll describe this more later, but spoiler alert, he said, Kelsey's eyes was closed. She was so fucking out of there that she was, you know how you be mumbling drunk and shit? He said Kelsey could walk. 
pretty much. But he had to help her and put her in the bed. That's how fucked up she was. But that she was just, you know, you know how niggas do, right? So he got put in the motherfucking bed. He said, when I came back down, people had left. So it was just me, Kylie, Megan, and a friend. But they were still in the pool drinking. He said, Tori got there probably 30 minutes after Megan called him on FaceTime. She FaceTimed him. They said Corey was sitting up there like, child, are we wrapping up this party or what's going on? Because people are leaving and all this, that, and the third. Okay? I'm going to tell y'all something else and we're going to get there. But um, EJ said Kylie was excited about Tori coming. That she asked about him a couple of motherfucking times. Anyway, by the time Tori got there, it was just. No wonder Tori swear moved. Tori was like, you bitches get the fuck away from me, man. I'm, I got a new kill right here. What that was doing. When Tori got there, um, they started drinking again, okay? They said he got there. What, there's somebody named Corey. Corey Gamble is Chris Jenner's boyfriend. She, I guess, lives at the place. Tori, Corey. When Tori got there, I blocked that cat from the live. Why the fuck would I know the fuck I didn't? It's probably a glitch. Let's tell her to keep going. Tell her to keep going. Go and block him. No, the fuck I didn't. Tell her to keep going. It's probably a glitch. what the fuck I did. And stop interrupting me, nigga. It's not letting me at him. You want me to take a screenshot? Bitch, let me end this and come right back. And stop telling me the same shit over and over again for I cut your ass out too. Hold on. <laughs> come on, man. That's Milagros right there, man. What's the problem?